Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem involving projections and vectors. So find the projection of u along v for each of the following pairs of vectors, uh, the u and v vectors. So let's start with question a. Now here's the formula we're going to be using to actually find the projection. And if you're wondering what a projection is, if we had a vector going like that and a vector going like this, let's say, the projection, and we, let's say we drop the line from this point here, terminal point all the way downward. So let's say we drop the line downward. The projection would be this length right here. Okay, so let's get started on solving these problems. Let's, let's find out how we can figure out the length of that particular line I showed you. The first vector we are, we're dealing with here is a u. It's 1, 2, and 1. So let's go ahead and put that into the formula here. So we have 1, 2, 1. And it's being multiplied by v. And v is 3, 1, and 0 for question a. And it's being divided by v multiply v. So v times itself. So let's just put that in there. 3, 1, and 0. At the end here, it's being multiplied by another v, the v vector. So right on the outside, 3, 1, and 0. So the first thing we're going to be doing is focusing on the numerator. We want to multiply these two vectors here. Now how do we multiply them? Well, we focus on the individual components. So 1 here times the first component over here, which is a 3. So 1 times 3, 3. Then we put an add sign because we want to add them up. That's what you do when you multiply vectors. When you cross them, that's where things get a bit different. Now going on to the middle component here, we have 2 multiply 1. So put a 2 there, add. 1 times 0 0 is just 0, so just put a 0 there. All of this divided by what's down here. So 3 times 3 is 9, add, then 1 times 1 is 1, and the rest is just going to be a 0. So adding this up, we have 5 over 10, or just 1 over 2. And this here is going to be, it's all equal, this one here is going to be multiplying the 3, the 1, and the 0, like it was doing right here. So let's multiply this through. What we do here is we just, we literally just distribute this throughout all the main components. So now we have 3 over 2 because we multiplied the 1 half to the 3. Then we have 1 half multiply the 1, that's just 1 half. And we have 1 half multiply 0, that's 0. And here is the coordinate. This is the vector or the projection of v, or sorry, of u along v for these two coordinates for question a, or sorry, for these two vectors for question a. Let's move on to question b. Doing the same thing, we have a 3, 1, and a 4 still, and we're multiplying it by v, which is now different. It's 1, 2, and a, or sorry, I guess the first one's also different. Anyways, uh, this divided by, and then we put this in, 1, 2, 2, multiply itself again, 1, 2, and 2. And on the outside, we have another v, remember the formula, so 1, 2, and a 2. Now multiplying it through in the numerator, we get a 3, a 2, and an 8. Or sorry, we're actually adding all of these, so let me just cross that out. It's 3 add 2 add 8 divided by, then down here we have 1 add 4 add 4. So if we simplify this, we have 13 on top divided by 9, sorry, uh, 9 at the bottom. Multiply the 1, 2, and the 2. Now let's just do the same thing we did prior and distribute it through. So now we have the answer, or the end answer, of 13 over 9, comma, then 26, 26 over 9, comma, and the same thing, 26 over 9. This is the projection of the vector v along u. So this is the answer. Let's move on to question c. So question c is going to be solved using the same process. We're going to be doing the 5, the 4, and a 3. Let's try do this one a bit quicker this time. So 3, 1, and a 1. Multiply. And down here, it's going to be v times v. We can also just do this. 3, 1, 1, and do that little do a square sign there so we always know. And then the V outside here, so 3, 1, and a 1. Okay, so that's going to give me a 15, 4, 3. And if we added that, that would be just 22 on top. So cancel all that. Then we have this, which is going to give us a 9, add a 1, add a 1, or just a 11. So we have 22 divided by 11, which is equivalent to 2. So this 2 here is being multiplied, mind you, by the last coordinate, the V coordinate. So if we multiply it through, we get 6, 2, and a 2. And that's the answer. This is the projection for the for question C. And I think by now you're getting the hang of this. It's, it's very easy once you memorize the formula. So to finish this off, it's going to be 1, 1, and a 2. It's going to be all of this so far. That's squared and multiply the last one right there. Okay, so 3 add 4 add a uh, 2, which is 9 over, then we have 9 add 16 add 1, which is 9 over 26 overall. Multiply 3, 4, and a 1. So if we did that, we would get 27 over 26, comma, then 4 times 9, that's going to be 36, divided by, then we have 26 there, comma, and 9 over 26. You can simplify the 26 and, sorry, the 36 and the 26 to just get uh, 18 over 13, and this would be the projection right here. So thank you for watching. This has been the lesson on projections. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you're having a fantastic day.